everybody. Thank you for joining in on day six and seven of our trip to Romania. We start our day in Busteni at our hotel. Morning, everybody. Uh, we just woke up. It's about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. right now. I'm gonna eat quickly and try to head to the cable car to get up to the mountain and see if we can get up there, see the Sphinx uh, rock formation, and then head down to the other side of the mountain to see the monastery that's tucked underneath the cave. Later on, we'll figure it out. Right now, breakfast, get some energy, and we'll see you then. So for breakfast, we got the typical American style breakfast, some eggs, ham, toast, uh, and a little bit of vegetable salad on the side, and some yogurt, and some orange. And it was pretty good. So we're going 1,400 meters high, and then we're gonna go switch over to another gondola, which is gonna take us 2,000 meter high, which is the highest. So unfortunately, the cable car in Busteni was closed and we adapted and went to the cable car in Sanaya. So we're riding on the gondola and it's a pretty smooth ride. I think it's pretty safe. I mean, it's not old looking or anything. Looks like they've renovated it or upgraded it a little bit. We're going higher now even, so it's gonna get steeper. But the background, yeah, we came from down there. That's so. steeper. Yeah. It gets steeper and steeper, I guess. Get ready to hop off. Yeah. We're so high up right now that all these falls are the clouds. So. We're at the 1,400 meters mark. And we just came from the pink one. It's really foggy here. And this, this looks like the ski lift. Looks like it's done. This one is the green car lift that we're gonna go higher up on. So. Oh my god, this is so fun! Don't move, don't move. Oh man, whoa, whoa. down there, some trees are broken down there. So, yeah, it's really cloudy. Can you see anything? No, <laughs> I'm just please, gonna please sit, down. sit down now. Yeah. Wow, well we see that gondola is coming, so that's about it. We're somewhere else. We're in the clouds, we're in heaven or something. Oh, the sun's up. Or the sun's been up, it's just it's that it's just been covered. It's just area that the cloud yep. covers. So. Whoa, look at that, that is amazing. Mm. This is uh, quite an amazing This is cloud, cloud nine right here. Probably the highest I've ever been on a gondola. It's so pretty. Wow. Damn, the pressure. <laughs> oh my fucking. Holy shit. Wow. It's 2,000 meters. We're closer to the sun, so it's a little bit warmer up here. But oh my god, everything's just like white. It's beautiful up here. Never, never thought I would experience anything like this. It's a great place to ski. A great place to come and just explore and have like a winter uh, getaway. But it's so bright. I probably need sunglasses. And we're going down. We're leaving. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was $30 for both of us total for coming all the way up here. Worth it or no? Oh, I worth that. Yep. So after we got down back to where we started, we took the bus down to Pelz Castle and started walking there in that area to the castle. 
Castle Pelish was the first royal residence built by Carol I, the first king of Romania, who together with his wife, Queen Elizabeth, left his mark on this sumptuous residence in Sanaya. So guys, we're here at Palace Castle and this is one of the most beautiful castles in Romania and probably one of the best castles in Europe. Definitely very pretty. Nice tucked in location right in Sanaya. Only takes like five minutes to 10 minute walk to get here from or where the entrance is. There's also a great view of the mountain right behind us. It looks like it's snowed pretty well last night and today. And it's created a nice little like white out scenery. So it wasn't just Sanaya that snowed at me, but Steny, it was snowing last night, all night. So yeah, so we'll take a tour inside pretty soon. To ensure the full success of his plans, King Carol I drew craftsmen from all over Europe. There were Italian masons, Romanian doing the earthwork, unskilled gypsy laborers, Albanians and Greeks working in the quarry, Germans and Hungarians working as carpenters, and Turks firing bricks. Then there were Polish craftsmen and Czech stone masons, while the French did the drawing and the English the measurements. So in the evening we went back to the hotel and finally got to relax in the jacuzzi with some palenka on the side. And then afterwards we got a nice hefty dinner to end the night. Good morning everyone. We just got done here checking out. Um, right now we're just grabbing uh, a cappuccino. We're heading out to Russia. Finally get to see the mountain view a little bit. Um, looks like the sun is up and the fog is kind of going away. So there is a cross on top of the mountain. It's dedicated to the heroes, the freedom fighters of the country. Yep, there's a cross up there. Pretty amazing architect. Because when you get close up there, it's super huge. So after we checked out of our hotel, we wanted to try brunch somewhere on the way to the train station and we saw a place called K La Mama. So we just took a look inside and we saw that there was a lot of options for foods, kind of like an entree style. And they range from like chicken, polenta and everything like curry, all sorts of things. And it, was, it just looked really good. Some chicken, some mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. it's a little spicier beef, uh, kind of stew like curry almost. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's some sort of black bean. Um, this is a uh, vegetable rice. I love all of them. It's actually a really good place to come and eat before you catch your train because it's only like a minute or two away, it's right across the block. Highly recommend to come here if you are hungry before your trip. It's a sour chicken soup. Mm. Tomato taste to it. How's it taste? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So after a delicious brunch, we were on our way to brush off. So we walked a little bit in the old town and we're in the city, the center of it. And we are now dining in, trying to get some lunch at La Chayun. It's supposed to be one of the best uh, traditional Romanian foods in Brasov. So. The cheese, the polenta, the smoked sausage. Look at this. The polenta is on the inside. It looks like there's a cheese covering and then the sausage mixed in with it. 
go on it real quick, just cool it down. Mmm. I love cheese. This is it, good. The cheese is very thick. Smoked sausage. Seasoned well. Uh, the polenta, I never had it like this yet. Until now. Mmm. Look at that, the gooiness of that cheese. Just so good. So, if you like to eat heavy, I would say try this. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah. You can see it just, the steam just coming out of the polenta, like it just got, just got baked and it's really hot. So. After a great meal at La Chayun, we went to check in in our Airbnb. This is our Airbnb. Welcome in. My most impressed of the whole kitchen is the fridge. I really like this. This is the freezer. Beautiful. And then of course, the storage are pretty awesome. Look at this. Storage. You put the dishes in there. Come around, I'll show you what's beautiful too. Of this living room. Um, these are all storage and done. So, very nice. We have two, basically two balcony. One is here, and then the other one is in the room. I'll show you. Again, this is storage as well. I think it's kind of cool because <laughs> right, all these little hidden like furniture storage, pretty cool. This is the bedroom, of course. We'll probably come in. We start off with the beautiful closet. These are storage as well. The great big mirror. Places you can hang blankets. What I'm most excited for. So this door is kind of tricky. Basically, um, you just pull up. Wow. Uh, the patio. Ah, the nature. This room, where it's not as cold and it's heated. This is a uh, three season. So nice, cool thing is you can actually open. open this door too. It's wow. Door. This is really nice. Like. For how much for all this? Um. $44. It's a good it price. Is, it is. Awesome. <sighs> this is awesome. Wow. I didn't know who this person is. That's this is lock. How, this is how you lock it. That's how you open this the This is how you open just the window. Yep. It's cool. Wow, very good. We need to do this. And then you close it. It's kind of weird. And this is how you open it. The whole thing. So this is our bathroom. It's really big and nice. Two people can shower. <laughs> it's nice. So, and then there's a little washer right here. We can wash our clothes as well. In Romania, they said that they don't really use a dryer machine. Um, they just dry their clothes pretty much. And then our Big closet. Entrance closet. Mm -hmm. Door closet. It's a big one. Put stuff up there. Jackets, coats, shoes. Shoe storage. Yeah. And that's it. Very simple but beautiful. So in the evening we wanted to go explore the center of town and we took an Uber there and we walked around and found some bubble waffles, which tasted really good. is so soft oh. but the whipped cream the Nutella and the banana makes it just a perfect hit the waffle is so soft mm. I'm warm I'm fresh it looks like she sprinkled some nuts on it too 
Hope you guys enjoyed day six and seven of Romania. We hope to see you soon. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and see you on day 89.